McKaylee. In my hands, I hold a very important collection of promises, though I do not make to you lightheartedly. With God and many others as our witnesses, I pronounce these vows as promises to be upheld in light of this extremely special, holy, and sacred covenant that we are entering into. I will remind myself of these often, and I aim by the power of the Spirit within me to uphold and maintain these vows that I now lay before you. I vow to make the choice to love you, day in and day out. That love will not be a mere superficial feeling or emotion, but rather an exercising of love as is defined in the Word of God. It will be a daily decision to consider your well-being above that of my own. It means I will daily sacrifice and lay myself down for your sake. Love always hopes, always trusts, always perseveres, and always protects. As such, I will always hope in and for you. I will always trust you. I will always protect you. I will always persevere for you and your sake. I vow to lead you. In doing so, I will constantly point you toward Jesus before drawing you to myself. I vow to make your walk with the Lord and your pursuit of Christ's likeness a constant concern of mine, making myself an avenue to be used toward that end. I will do so primarily in two ways. First, I vow to regularly read and discuss God's word with you, or, as the Apostle Paul says, wash you with the water of the word. Second, I vow to pray for and with you regularly, always making this a priority. I vow to celebrate and rejoice with you in good times, and also mourn and weep with you in difficult times. I vow to be graceful, forgiving, and merciful towards you, just as Christ has been to us. I vow to die to the idea that you should be just like me, think like me, and do things just like I do. I know that I will mess up, fail, fall, and stumble, but in these times, I vow to never be hesitant in saying the words, I'm sorry, I was wrong, please forgive me. I vow to pursue you daily. I will constantly strive to know you more and understand you more so that I can more effectively care for you. I vow to constantly check on your heart and soul, always aiming to make certain that you are flourishing as a well-watered vine. I vow to, at some point, take you out to dinner to a place that is nicer and more expensive than the dirt. I vow to do these very things to the grave, whether that be mine or yours. God's greatest beauty and treasure he has given me is Christ. God's second greatest beauty and treasure he has given me is you. I will love you best when I love him most. What God has joined together, and I am certain he has done just that with us. Let no man separate. Ty, vow to you to forever keep God as my first in everything, knowing that he has called you to be my second and for me to be yours. I vow to always be your second love, your second source of encouragement, and your second best friend, knowing that Jesus was all those things first. Today, I eagerly enter into this commitment with the vows I'm about to speak in light of Philippians 2, 1 through 11. Ty, I vow to give myself to you as a never ending source, source of encouragement in Christ, that you would find comfort, love, sharing in the same spirit, tenderness, and compassion from me that reflects our Father's heart to help restore and rejoice with you in times of trials and rejoice with you in times of joy. Ty, I vow to put you first without reservations or any conditions, striving to do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. I will look to your best interests and not my own in all things, both little and big. With humility, I will value above myself as Jesus has called us to live to emulate his heart as he freely gave and valued us at the cross. In our relationship with one another, I vow to have the same mindset with you being united in Christ. I vow to always remind and challenge you to study, engage, and apply the word of God to a greater degree than the day before. I vow to support and pray for your relationship with the Lord, for Him to destroy wrong thoughts and theology and replace them with what is right, for God to lead and guide us, or guide you as to what and where He would have us do in the future, and for you to continue to walk deeply with the Lord. 
These three prayers are the very same ones you asked prayer for during your summer one year ago. Although since then, our relationship has completely changed, I vow to continue to approach the Lord in prayer for these things, no matter how many times the context of our situation changes. Ty, I vow to submit to you as the church submits to Christ in everything, knowing that submission in the Bible is a living demonstration of respect and trust in the actions of following and obedience. I first placed my trust in God, who then grew love in my heart to trust you with my future. I vow to put my trust into action in supporting you by my submission to however the Lord leads you to lead us, without an expectation of perfection. I vow to always trust and believe in you and to put that into action in the ways in which I will unconditionally affirm you, love you, and support you. I vow to not withhold anything, to be honest and vocal with you about everything, my thoughts and feelings, whether heavy or light. Knowing I will always be able to fulfill these vows perfectly, I will always try to seek understanding when we don't see eye to eye and dish out grace as much as I know I need it in return. I promise to work to reconcile everything and to never hold a record of wrongs. I vow to think the best, expect the best, and encourage your best for the rest of our lives.